And he said you would give us peace that surpass all understanding. Oh God, and I believe that you are just instilling what you are pouring in peace into somebody this morning. Oh God, the, the, the thing God has just been, oh God, the steel, steel presence. And I pray God that even right now somebody's hearing in this spirit, God, and that all you want them to do is just be still. Be still. And just know that you are God. So we receive you as you are on this morning. We bless you for showing up in here on this morning. We don't take it for granted. Hallelujah. Because we know you don't, Father God, your tangible Shekinah glory does not fall in every place. Oh God, but your grace does and we bless you for that on this morning. Yeah. Even God, as we prepare God to go and God to what we call the Holy Writ. Oh God, we ask you to forgive us for our sins even now, God, in the name of Jesus. If there's anything, God, that we have not confessed, we confess it even now, God, in Jesus' name. Yes, forgive us for, uh, for our trespasses, even as we forgive those that trespass against us. Yes, God. And God, even as we prepare to listen just for a few minutes, yes, lead us not into temptation. Yes, Deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever. I pray, God, that you transform any darkness into light even now, God, in Jesus' mighty name. Yes, I pray you permeate even the shadows. In this house, yes, with your divine light, yes, right now, God, yes, in Jesus' mighty name. Yes, we love you, we bless you, we honor you, we magnify you. We thank you, God, for putting, God, Lord, four angels into the four spiritual edifices, corners of this edifice, even now, in Jesus' mighty name. We thank you. In Jesus' name we pray, we say amen. Come on, say amen. Let the church sing. Amen. your Bibles, I ask you to pull them out. Glory to God. And if you have your swords, I ask you to pull them out of your sheaths. Glory to God, I ask you just to put them up in the air and wave them like you just don't care. And just repeat after me. Somebody say, this is my Bible. This is my Bible. There are many like it. But this one is mine. I will read it. I will see what it says. I will study it. To show myself a tool. It is a lamp to my feet. It's a light into my path. And because of it, because of I, am it I am blessed in Jesus' mighty name. Glory to God. Amen. You can turn to those holy Bibles. Glory to God. Amen. To the book of Luke. Luke. Glory to God. Luke chapter 18. Luke is in the New Testament. Right after the book of Mark. Matthew, Mark, Luke. Chapter 18. I'm going to read a few verses in your hearing on this morning. Go to God. I'm going to hop right into the word. Amen. When you get there, just say, I have the word. I have the word. Hallelujah. For those that are still turning, it's on page 1135. <laughs> if you have my Bible. All right. Luke chapter 18. I'm going to start reading from verse 9. And it goes like this. It says, And he spake this parable until certain which trusted in themselves that they were righteous and despised others. Two men went up into the temple to pray. The one a Pharisee and the other a publican. The Pharisee stood and prayed thus with himself, God, I thank thee that I am not as other men are, extortioners, unjust, adulterers, or even as this publican. I fast twice in the week, and I give tithes of all that I possess. And the publican, standing afar off, would not lift up so much as his eyes unto heaven, but smote upon his breast, saying, God, be merciful to me, a sinner. I tell you, this man went down to his house justified rather than the other. Yes, but everyone that exalted himself shall be abased. And he that humbleth himself shall be exalted. May God have a blessing to the reading of his word. Thanks be to God. I just want to talk to you for a few minutes this morning, amen, about a simple subject that I term responsibility. Responsibility. We know that there's a word in the English language called responsibility. But I'm 
breaking up two words, responsibility. Glory to God. How many know that we have the ability to respond to the things that happen to us in our life? Amen. God gave us the ability to respond. Things don't just happen to us, glory to God, and then, praise God, things happen for us. Yes, yes. And when these things happen, glory to God, our response is up to us. God does not make us respond to certain things that happen in our life in a certain way. He leaves that up to us. He leaves that up to you. He leaves that up to me. Yes. And I call that responsibility. He has given me, he has given you the ability to respond. And how many know you have the ability, we have the ability to respond to everything that happens in our life in a correct and godly way? Anybody here with me this morning? Yes, Lord. I just want to prep this. Every form of behavior is communication. All right. How many know that? Amen. Every form of behavior is communication. Is communication. Rolling your eyes. How many know you communicate? You don't have to speak a word, but you just say something to me. When we go, yawning is communication. Arms folded to your chest is communication. Amen. Sighing. Get my spirit right now. How many of you don't like it when your children do that to you, right? Especially little children, right? Yeah. Here we go. Here we go. And then laughing is communication. Being serious is communication. We've got singing is communication. Yeah. Praying is communication. Right. Here we go. Little Jamie, he's communicating to us right now. Glory to God. How many of you being obedient is right. a form of communication? On, Not being obedient. Mm -hmm. That's a form of communication. But Sister Jen did for us today, I mean, with the music, I mean, she came up and signed. I said, do anybody have a song? And then she had a song. She didn't come up and sing the song. She came up and signed the song. Amen. Are you here with me this morning? Yes. How many know all behavior is communication? Yes. And God knows what we are communicating better than anybody. Because he is the one who created, glory to God, communication. Hallelujah. Everything can be understood better if we just learn how, if we just learn how to comprehend a, a person's behavior better. Yes. I want to help you. We want to get into the text, but I want to help you. But a lot of our behavior is either learned behavior from, our, from childhood examples, or it is as a result from some of our childhood trauma that we have not healed yet. On, Watch me with this. Go to God. For example, I'm a pastor who passed for a long time. I've been a ministry for a long time. And a lot of couples will come and they will want counseling. Glory to God. Glory to God. Amen. About issues in their marriage or in their relationship. Mm -hmm. Glory to God. But specifically, amen, marriage, when we talk about intimacy issues. Mm -hmm. Let's take that one, for example. Glory to God. Amen. And one person, for example, might want to be uh, loving. So one person is very touchy. It's a touchy, touchy person. Lord God. So another person, I mean, and then, well, and they take that same person. That same person is a touchy, touchy person. They are a very loving person. Lord God. And how many know the other person might not be? Right. Come on. The other person might not be. So the person who doesn't actually care for the touching and the, the love and all of that kind of stuff, and with the thing that we call love, and then, praise God, and then, they, 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 they have learned that avoidance is a behavior to keep themselves from something that makes them uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. For some of these people, amen, glory to God, amen, normally you see it on the woman's side, glory to God, praise God, amen, they have learned that touch is unsafe for whatever reason, glory to God, amen, in their life. And so what happened is the man, amen, will try to touch and will try to love, and, and the woman, amen, will pull away, glory to God, praise God, and it can happen the other way as well, amen. And the reason why she does that is because something happened in her childhood, amen, where her mind is associated with touch with something unsafe. Are you here with me this morning? I want to break this down. I don't want it to sound too, glory to God, psychological, glory to God. Amen. But they have learned that avoidance is a behavior to choose in these instances because when they were young, praise God, something about that became taboo. So now every time the man goes to touch the woman, she say, stop. Or you're doing too much. Or he'll say, give me a kiss. He'll say, I just gave you a kiss. I just want to hug with you, girl. I gave you a hug when you came in. 
Glory to God. Praise God. Amen. Glory to God. And, 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 and it makes her uncomfortable. Amen. And so how she choose to, to go about it is avoid it if she can. On the other hand, the man who, who wants to seemingly overtouch and probably and, and, and do all of these things, he was probably neglected right. when he was a child. He was probably, he, this, he probably had parents who gave him extremely inconsistent attention when he was young. Glory to God. Praise God. And a lot of times we look at our children, glory to God, amen, but we are the reason why they grow up the way that they grow up. Glory to God. Amen. The man, amen, glory to God, I'm just taking a man and a woman in this way, glory to God, that wants to touch a man and all that, he probably didn't get the attention that he should have gotten when he was a baby, when he was a toddler, when he was a young child. From the man and the woman. Unfortunately, a lot of my young children are growing up without the man, period. So some type of man might come into their life. A lot of you shaking your head because you don't understand what I'm saying. Where we got? Praise God. Amen. But how do you know God created children, amen, for the love of a man and a woman? Yes, sir. Where we got? And if that woman that is in that child life, amen, can't overcompensate for the missing man that is really able to get in there and love on that person, how many of a person can grow up with the deficit? Are you hearing me today? Yes, sir. I'm talking about responsibility. Y'all want to see how all of this plays, how all of this comes together. Glory to God. These kind of guys, glory to God, amen. Glory to God. What happens is they spend the rest of their life chasing affection. They spend the rest of their life chasing relationships. And these kind of guys will settle for any kind of relationship. These kind of guys sometimes come off as desperate. They're the desperate type, even when it seems like they should be confident. Glory to God. It may look like they have the car, the money, the looks, all of that good stuff, and they come off that way because there's a hole in their emotions. Glory to God. And the woman, on the other hand, with these kind of childhood traumas, are inconsistent with their intimacy and are sometimes accused of as being cold or frigid. Some of y'all shaking your head, y'all understand. Being bad in bed. You understand what I'm saying? I'm just keeping it nice for the kids. Glory to God. Amen. And they will constantly have men leave them because they can't fulfill even a normal sex life. Can I say that? Glory to God. Amen. And so what happens is they come to the council, but glory to God. Amen. And it takes somebody to really dig into, amen, different things. Glory to God. Go to their childhood, amen, to see why we act the way that we act. One thing we have to understand, amen, Lord to God, amen, is that events happen in our life, but our response is up to us. Amen. And just because you came, amen, Lord to God, from a bad start, don't mean that you have to finish bad. Yes. Lord to God, amen. How I many of you, you know better, you should do better. Yes. And that's why Jesus said, my people perish for lack of knowledge. And the more we learn about ourselves, how we know now we can be a blessing to others. Amen. But if I don't know myself, if I haven't taken the time to figure out what's going on with me, what's wrong with me, I keep pointing my finger at everybody else, but I'm broken. I keep talking about everybody else, but I'm missing something on the inside. I keep looking over an amen, or somebody else's grass, but I need to cut my own grass. We have a responsibility to everything that happens in our life. Yes. Every form of behavior is communication. And there's an equation, glory to God. Event plus response equals outcome. Let me say it again. Event plus response equals outcome. Glory to God. The outcome just don't happen on its own. You can cuss me out. You can talk about me, you can block me, you can do all of these kind of things, but have you know my response is my own. All right. Glory to God. The outcome based on what you do to me, praise God, is based on my response to what you have done to me. Anybody hear with me today? And that's why when Jesus preached, amen, glory to God, he says, remember when somebody hit you, he said, turn the other cheek. Glory to God. Amen. He's not saying be impassive. Amen. But he's basically teaching, your response is up to you. But when you have the, I can't help it, or they did this, so I had to do this, I had to say this, I had to whatever, how do you know now you have made them your master? Right. Now, they control your response. And anybody who can control your response has mastered you. Right. Right. It takes maturity for you to be able to go through things and say, you know what, I know I see what you're trying to do, devil, but I ain't going to 
to you. I ain't gonna give you, praise God, amen, power over my response. Yes. I have power Hallelujah. over how I'm gonna yes. respond, yes, yes, yes. even in the midst of the situation. Yes, Lord. I don't care how bad it looks, I have power over how I'm gonna respond. Yes, come on. All hell can be breaking through in my life, but how do you know I can still have the peace of God? Ah, That's the peace of God. Should not be your teachers. Glory to God. Amen. Video should not be your teachers. Glory to God. 
worldly friends and all of these different things should not be your teachers. Anybody hear me this morning? All of this stuff should not be your teachers. Dr. Phil shouldn't be your teacher. Oprah Winfrey, somebody say amen. Oprah Winfrey should not be your teacher. Glory to God, hallelujah. How do you know, praise God, amen. Everything that's in the word of God, amen, praise God, amen, should be the thing, glory to God, that we live by. We overcome out of blood and the lamb, and the word of our testimony, and our testimony should be hidden in Christ. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. amen. Praise God. And that's why we come. Glory to God. Amen. To hear. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Because faith comes by hearing. And hearing by the word, word of God. Word of God. Hearing by the word of God. Event plus response equals outcome. Remember that. Glory to God. And in this text, Glory to God, we're reading about pride versus humility. One of these guys, amen, was up there beating their chest, saying, oh, I pray two times a day, and I go to the mountains, and I'm in the church all the time, basically is what he's saying. I'm on church every Sunday, twice every Sunday, I'm at every Bible study, I'm on every Zoom service, glory to God, I do all of this kind of stuff. And then, and then the other person in Luke chapter 18, praise God, the Bible says that he stood far away, glory to God, praise God, and he beat his chest, glory to God, basically saying that I'm not good enough. He was beating himself, saying that, you know, from almost from guilt. Go to God. And then how do you know when you really start learning about God, God, you realize how inadequate you are. Go to God and then to his holiness. You realize how much you don't add up to. Praise God. What it is, amen, to be a real man or woman of God. I wish I had some real yes, people in my life, God, amen. Yes, God. And when you can tell a novice, you can tell a mature person when they act like they got it all together. They act like it's all about me. Oh, y'all should be listening to me. Let me tell you how to do it. When you really know God, you really know that I don't deserve to be telling nobody anything. I don't deserve to be wearing a robe. I don't deserve it. When you really have a relationship with God, you realize that if it wasn't for His grace and His mercy, I wouldn't be here. God chose me. Even when I wouldn't chose myself. And, and these two words cut to the core of my deepest attitude. Mm-hmm. And the context indicates that, that, that Christ is teaching uh, uh, everybody listening a lesson amen, about uh, uh, those amen, that were trusting in themselves. Because too many of us get in trouble with God, and then we go through things in our life, and we, and we say, God, why am I going through this? And, then, and the reason why, let me tell you this morning, is because God looked down from heaven, and you see that you are trusting in your own abilities. All right. mm-hmm. You are trusting in your own self. Mm-hmm. Oh, I'm I'm pretty good. I can do whatever I want. I'm handsome. I'm doing this. And all. I, I got this. I've always been good at this. And then I don't know God will write everything. He would take everything from you, amen. Praise amen. God, amen. I got the t-shirt. Go to God. He would take everything from you. He would take your job. He'll take your money. He'll take your family. He'll take your children. He'll take everything. He will take everything from you. Go to God and say, now, what do you want to do now? What do you want to do when you start touching your health? What do you want to do? Go to God. Praise God. We were in the car, glory to God, amen. We were born in Philadelphia, amen. With, amen. With my spiritual, couple of my spiritual daughters, amen, in the car, amen. We were talking about a few things, amen. And, amen. And, and, and somebody was just talking about some people, amen, glory to God, that's in their family, amen. And some people in the family, they do crystals, and they do all of this type of witchcraft and all of that kind of stuff, all right. But they just recently got sick, amen. And you know what happened when they got sick? You know what they happened? They called on the church. All right. Oh, yeah. Can you come to the hospital and pray? Can you come lay hands on us? Can you bring your oil? Glory to God. Amen. And somebody said, I don't understand that. But when I had this brain, and they even when people choose something, seemingly choose something other than God, they still know who the highest power is. Amen. They know, they may praise God, amen, that there is no other name higher than the name of Jesus. Right. They know that at his name, every knee shall bow. Yes. Every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. Yes. Don't, let, don't let people fool you. Because it seems like they choose in the world right yeah, now, glory to God. Right. At the end, the end of the day, glory to God. Praise God. I guarantee you, they're going to call on Jesus. Yes. They're going to call on yes, God. They gonna, do you know anybody that can get a prayer through? Glory to God. You're not going to call nobody that don't have a relationship 
from God when they say you got cancer. When they say, please God, for all of this stuff is going on in your body. And then we know the people say, call the name of God. Set a man, go to God to, 
to, to deliver you from slavery. Glory to God, amen. And he had to rule his part, and you walk on dry land, and you still rebel against God and start worshiping idols. They were rebellious. They were worshiping snake. They were worshiping bell. They were having sex for Jesus. All of these different kind of things like that. I mean, you know, and God had to keep teaching them a lesson. Glory to God. Glory to God. They were arrogant in their spirit. Amen. And the Pharisee represents that. Amen. Stubborn. He was lost. He had an attitude of pride. And that is why the Pharisees denied Jesus, even though the Son of God had came in the flesh. All right? And that's what kept them from justification. For those who don't know, justification basically means it's, it's something that only God can attribute to, to you, which means you are just as if you never sinned. Yes, God. When you accept God, amen, when you accept Christ into your heart as your Lord, personal Savior, and the Holy Spirit has His work, and when you go through a process of sanctification, which means that He sets you apart, amen, after God has already done the work of justification, which is mean your, your slate is clean. It is just as if you have never sinned. And after God has done that, glory to God, how many know if you keep bringing up the things they meant that you have done in your past, how many know it's not God's fault, it's your fault? Yes. Yes. You gotta leave the things that have in your past in the past. Glory yes. to God. Amen. Because God is taking you somewhere else. Yes. Amen. Glory to God. Yesterday was yesterday. Glory to God. Amen. But your tomorrow, amen, is in God's hands. As I always say, the devil always brings up your past because he has no control over your future. And whenever you start ministering to you about what you used to do in 1995, 1999, and then you got to say, devil, you are a liar. I rebuke you. Satan, keep me behind you. And then because I'm a new creature in God, all things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. Is that good? Is anybody here with me this morning? Can we give God a hand clap for that? Yes, sir. How do you know all things are becoming new? Glory to God. Yeah. Hallelujah. All things, praise God, are becoming new. Amen? Yeah. Glory to God. I'm sure you're wondering, so who does the tax collector represent? And that's a good question. Glory to God. Amen? Hallelujah. And I believe he represents all those who, though not officially on the inside, to begin with the Jews, still found a place within the family of God by responding to the message of repentance and faith. The tax collector. The tax, a tax collector in those days, amen, was not a job, glory to God, amen, that people praised. Mm -hmm. The tax collector, praise God, amen, was somebody that you did not want to come around. It's just like the IRS today, right? We don't like talking about the IRS. Why? Because the IRS will take your money. They will garnish your paycheck. Glory to God. They will take everything. Glory to God. Amen. If you're late paying your bills, glory to God. And so the tax collector, glory to God, amen, was, was like Matthew. Glory to God. Amen. And, and, and the Bible says, amen, glory to God, that he stood far away. Amen? Praise God. Realizing that he was in hell. Glory to God. And God heard his prayer. Think about it. Many of the best fortunate, spiritually and physically, bankrupt, were doing exactly what Christ was proclaiming. They were repenting and they were believing. And they were the ones finding justification. Yes, God. But the ones that should have, the Jews, the Pharisees, glory to God, they rejected them. The difference was, praise God, one had humility in their heart and the other did. And we want to walk with humility in our heart. Mm -hmm. Common to both of the elements of physical posture and verbal words. But it was how their inner attitude showed up on the outside. Yes, Every form of behavior is communication. And whatever's going on in the inside of you always shows on the outside. As you always have heard me teach you, and then your, your energy enters into the room before you do. Some of us can go places and people are happy, amen, and, and then you get in the room and it even gets even more happy. Some of us go into the room and you suck the all in your Glory to God. You're so sad, you're so depressed, you're so glory to God, praise God. That's for all of us. Glory to God, glory to God. And then come, you know, praise God, amen. When you, when you, as we mature, we learn about it. Yeah. Well, God, I mean, you can have a job, well, God, and they will fire you for not being, if you don't have the right emotions. Right. Anybody here today? That's true. Well, God, I'm not talking about a, a big time job, you're talking about a small time job. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, God, if you can't smile, praise God, you can't come in and say good morning, mm -hmm. uh, 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 how you doing, hi, something like that. How many of them get rid of you? Yeah. So, what do you think, amen, for God, the Holy Spirit wants from us? All right. 
how many think we're supposed to carry ourselves when we go out, amen? When it comes to the things of God. Amen. Praise God. Amen. When you're a little kid, you gotta say, what's wrong? Say hi. Speak real good. Probably don't be older. You ain't supposed to be there to push you. You're supposed to know you're coming around. Good exactly. morning. You when you see an adult, how you doing? Right. Praise God. Honor. When we got all of these different things, manners, respect, mm -hmm. reference, all of these things are supposed to be instilled. Glory to God. And that separates. Praise God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Somebody that has class. Amen. Mm -hmm. From someone that does not. Hallelujah. The Bible says everyone who exalts himself will be humbled. And he who humbles himself will be exalted. And responding, responding humbly to the call of God is, is the beginning of true success. Yes, Lord. It's the beginning of true success. Mm. Yesterday we went down to do an um, uh, honorary doctorate um, ceremony. Glory to God. Amen. And while we were in the office, the candidate, amen, that was receiving his honorary doctorate, we were in the office and he was saying, um, I don't deserve this. He said, I just want to thank y'all for coming. Um, the contingent of doctors that were there, um, I don't know what y'all see in me. Lord to God, he said, but um, somebody, y'all see something in me, y'all recommended me for this. Lord to God, amen. And so when we got to the service, to the ceremony, Lord to God, I had to bring back his words to him. Because the fact that he felt that way, to me, qualified him for the honor that we could bestow on. Because if you think that you deserve, amen, glory to God, glory to God, everything, glory to God, amen, praise God, amen, that some of us think that we, you know, that we want, how many know you're not ready for the biggest right. things in God? Yes, sir. Because what will happen is you will get to this place and you will mistreat and misuse those that you look at as being under you. But when you understand, praise God, that we're all the same, glory to God, and when you understand, Praise God, praise God, and glory God, like my testimony that I am the chief sinner in the room. Mm. That if it wasn't for God, how many know that we can all just flow together and we can just go to this thing together? From the pulpit to the door, from the balcony to the floor, we all need God's forgiveness. Amen. We all need God to say, it's okay. We all need God's grace. We all need His blood that covers a multitude of sin. We all need his love. I'm so glad that he loved me. Yes. Even then when I didn't love myself. Right. Thank you, Lord. I probably should have HIV right now. Glory to God. Because it was times when I didn't love myself. I probably shouldn't be here right now. Because it was times I put myself in situations. Glory to God. Where I listen, praise God, and people put guns to my head and all of the different things. Glory to God. Glory to God. Why? Because my response mm. to things that were told to me was incorrect. And it was the grace of God that got me out of these situations. So when people come to me and say, oh, you don't know, I said, I know, and I know more than you. Because probably whatever you think you've done, I've done worse. I guarantee it. Whatever level, whatever you want to talk about it, I've done it. I've done it. I've done it. I'm from the street. I've done it. Glory to God. And that's why God normally picks a person like that. Yes. I oh, yeah, he would be there. Right. Yes. He would pick a person like that. He don't pick the, the squeaky clean person. He don't pick that kind of person. Right. Look at God. Because you haven't been through nothing. All right. Come on, sir. And you can't relate. All right. And you start judging. Yes. But when you've been there, done that. Yes. I got the t-shirt. Trust me. Mm. Look at God. It's okay. Yes. And that's why God chose a Peter. Mm. And that's why God chose a Paul. Mm -hmm. Paul used to kill the saints. Yes. And Paul might have written 13 books of the New Testament. My Lord. That's how God does it. God chose a David. Yes, yes. David cheated on his wife. Oh, David killed the man oh, of the woman that he was cheating with. Right. Yes. David did all of this stuff. But he repented. Yes. And God received us back. Yes. Your response is up to you. Right. Yeah, you messed up. Mm. Yeah, we all have that. We all have that testimony. But your response is up to you. Thank you, Lord. You can come to God, go to God and say, God, forgive me. It's me, it's me, oh Lord. Yes. Come in and lead up here. Not my brother nor my sister. But it's me, oh Lord. I'm going to point the finger.
finger don't know everybody else. I'm gonna just worry about myself. Yes. Mm. Because your testimony, your life, can't get me to heaven. Mm. So, yes, Lord. We are not the sum mm. of our destinations. We are the sum of our journeys. My destination didn't make me who I am today. My journey did. My journey did. Your destination didn't make you who you are today. I don't care who you are, how much money you have, what degrees you have, I don't care. It doesn't make you who you are. It was your journey. Hallelujah. God's going to use your journey. So allow God to, 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 to make your, mess, your message. Yeah. Allow God to turn your failure, your failures into fertilization. Allow your failures to fertilize your future. Yes. Let all the tests you went through become your testimony. Yes. Yes. Because God got greater for you. And he got better for you. Yes. Hallelujah. I believe I'm gonna end it right there. Yes. Glory to God. In short, mm. your response. Is your ability. It's a special ability that God has given to you. I don't have to respond like I used to respond when I was 18. Yes. I don't have to respond like I used to respond when I was 25. Mm-hmm. I don't have to respond like I used to respond when I was 35. I don't have to respond like I used to respond when I was 45. I don't have to respond like I used to respond when I was 50. I hope I'm going to keep on going. <laughs> Service is over. Don't come 
asked me to pray for you right. once the service is over. Because right. yeah. I gave you the altar call. Right. Glory to God. Right. You got to learn how to respond when a man of God or woman of God says the altar is open. Oh. Hallelujah. You, Father God, we bless you. Yes, Lord. We thank Hallelujah. you. We honor you, God, yes. on this morning. Yes, God. Truly, yes, Father God, Lord, you are good. Yes, God. And there is none like unto thee. Yes, God. We bless you for the word on today, God. Yes, God. God, you said, God, Lord, through our response mm -hmm. is according, God, Lord, Father God, Lord, to the ability that you have given us. Yes, God. And even now, God, I pray, Father God, Father God, over everybody at the town of my voice. Yes, God. Everybody, God, in this house, everybody that's watching on TV, land, and social media, God, yes, Lord. God. Oh, God, Lord, Father God, from today forward, God, Lord, we're not going to respond. Hallelujah, God, in the way that we used to, God. From today forward, Father God, Lord. Hallelujah, Father God, Lord. Oh, God, Father God, we want to choose, Father God, Lord. Hallelujah to be different, Father God, Lord. Yes, God. From today forward, Father God, Lord. Yes, God. We want to choose, Father God, Lord. Hallelujah, a higher path, Father God, Lord. Yes, we want to choose a better way. Hallelujah, Father God, Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, God, because, Father God, you have spoken to us. Oh, yeah, yeah, oh God, Lord, Father God, we're not only living this life, God, we are growing through yes, what we're God. going through. Yes, God. Hallelujah. And I pray, God, Lord, Father God, that even right now, God, Lord, that you will heal every childhood trouble. Yes, God. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Anybody in here, God, Lord, that has, Father God, Lord, issues, Father God. Lord. Yes, God. Oh, I pray, God, Lord, you heal, Father God, Lord, daddy issues. I pray God you heal mommy issues. Yes, God. I pray God you heal God Lord affection issues. I pray yes, you God. heal love issues. I pray you heal oh God neglect issues. God Lord, I pray God that you heal oh Father God Lord oh God Lord all of these different things God Lord that we go through God Lord oh God heal Father God verbal abuse issues God Lord heal sexual abuse issues God Lord heal Father God Lord oh God Lord Father God Lord all of these different things God Lord that we have gone through Father God Lord as children God Lord. Hallelujah. Up to adult, Father God, Lord. Heal abandonment issues, God, even right now, God, in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray, God, Lord, you go back seven to ten generations, God, Lord, and you break every generational curse. Yes, Lord. Even now, God, in the name of Jesus. Oh, God, Lord, Father God, any demonic covenant that we made, we cancel it. Any black magic, any voodoo, any olia, any juju, any santaria, any root work, any word curse enacted against me, enacted against us, we bind it now in the name of Jesus. Come on, pray with me, pray with me. Oh, we send it down to Sender. Oh, God, we bind it to the Sender. Oh, God, hallelujah, right now. Hallelujah, God. Hallelujah. 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 Start with us, God. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, God. Oh, Thank you. God. Break it within us, Father. Yes, God. Yes. Get rid of emotionalism, God. Yes, God. Yes. Get rid of immaturity, Father yes, God. God. In the name of Jesus. Fill it, God, Lord. Fill us, God, Lord. Oh, God. Yes. With stability, God. Yes, God. Fill us with love and joy. Yes. You say you have to give us a spirit of fear. Yes, Lord. And a spirit of love, power, the sound mind. Yes. So I come against mental illness, even now, God, in the name of Jesus. Jesus we bind every spirit of yes, mental God. illness, hallelujah. even now, God, in the yes, name God. of Jesus. Yes, God. Every spirit, hallelujah. God. Oh, that's been speaking against our mind, we bind you right now in the name of Jesus. Yes, Jesus. Oh, we send you back, hallelujah. Oh, every seducing spirit that's been seducing our children, oh, away from the things of God, we bind you now. In the mighty name of Jesus, I speak over all of my children. All of my children are saved in Jesus' name. We don't care what the enemy trying to show us. We speak life. Hallelujah. They're saved and they're covered. Oh God, hallelujah. Oh God, by your big and mighty hand. Even now, God, in Jesus' mighty name. We thank you for purpose on their life. We bless you, God, for our young adults. We bless you, God, for our singles, God. We thank you, God, for all of our married couples, God. Oh God, we thank you, Father God, for those, God, that want, Father God, oh God, a spouse, God, God. We pray, God, for their future spouses even now. Yes, God. Oh, God, if they're a woman, I pray, God, that their husband will find them, God. Find them, yes, God. Oh, God, if they're a man, Father God, Lord, I pray, God, that they will find the one that yes, you God. have, Father God, laid out for them, God. Yes, God. I pray against, God, Lord, Father God, Lord, wrong choices. Yes, God. And I pray, God, Lord, against wasting of time, God, Lord. Yes, God. Lead us, Father God. Yes, God. And we will be led. Yes, you say those that are led by the Spirit of God are sons and daughters of God. Yes, God. 
And we receive that even now, God, in Jesus' name. We will respond. Yes, God. We want to respond. We choose to believe the report of the Lord. We want to respond better in our health. Oh, God, hallelujah. We want to respond better in our wealth. We want to respond better in our mental state. And God, we want to respond better in our spiritual state. We thank you for the word today. Continue to bless us. That we see that has been planted. I pray that it continues to grow. In Jesus' name we pray. We say amen. 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 Put it back to God. Hang on. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Two more minutes. Hallelujah. If there's somebody in here that does not know Jesus as their Lord and personal Savior, I want to give you, amen, the opportunity to do yes. that. So I'm looking around. I believe everyone in, in this house has been saved. Yes, Lord. Lord. If you're watching the TV, man, glory to God. Praise God. Amen. Your response, amen, glory to God. Amen. To his call is up to you. Glory to God. We can't force you to receive what God is asking you today. Amen, glory to God. He's knocking on the door of your heart. The Bible says, amen, hallelujah. And if you confess with your mouth and believe in your heart that Jesus Christ has been raised from the dead, you shall be saved. I want to invite you to do that today. It's simply, amen, by reciting a prayer. And I'll take you to the prayer. Father God. Father God. It's me, your child. It's me, your child. Lord God. Lord God. Forgive me for all of my sins. Forgive me for all of my sins. No and unknown. No and unknown. Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. Come into my heart. Come into my heart. And be my Lord and personal Savior. And be my Lord and personal Savior. I choose life. I choose life. I reject death. I reject death. I choose heaven. I choose heaven. I reject hell. I reject hell. Please write my name. Please write my name. In the last book of life. In the last book of life. The blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. In Jesus' name I pray. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. 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 Come on, give God a hand clap. Hallelujah. You are now my brother and sister. Your next step is to find a Bible teacher, Bible believing church. Get in there and allow them to recite you. Amen. In the word of God. Come on, we're going to give God seven hallelujahs. For those who don't know, just stand up. I've been nice today. I didn't make y'all do a lot. Amen. I didn't make you touch your neighbor and spin around and all of that. Glory to God. Praise God. We want to give them seven hallelujahs. Amen. When we say hallelujah, amen, we send fire into the sky. For those who don't know that, amen, on the count of three. One, two, three. Hallelujah. 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 H